With Deadlock's most recent patch, 80% of the roster received changes, and that's thrown heroes all over my tier list. So today, we'll talk about the heroes with the largest changes, and then go over the tier list as a whole at the end. Before we get started, if you're looking for more content on Deadlock, be sure to check out my Deadlock Decoded series, which releases new episodes every week. Most recently, I went over the details of Deadlock's item system and how it works in detail, so give that video a watch after this one. Now, let's get into the tier list. Infernus has been changed multiple ways this patch, with his Flame Dash receiving some changes and Catalyst getting hit with some slight tweaks or nerfs. But the biggest buff Infernus saw this patch was mainly from changes to his core items. Toxic Bullets had its heal reduction increased from 55% to 65% against enemies, and now also grants 100 health as part of its stat bonuses, granting him some increased survivability. In addition, the Tier 4 Spirit item, Boundless Spirit, now grants additional weapon damage, letting Infernus live out his fantasies of being a weapon and spirit-based hero at the same time. In my last tier list, I had Infernus listed under the A tier, but for this patch I'm placing him squarely into the OP tier. His ability to quickly apply burn to enemies and kill them while they run away gives him a strong ability to win almost every 1v1 he gets into. Match that with his ability to take jungle creeps with ease and you'll be a top soul contender every match you play. Next, let's talk about Vindicta, who I very much underestimated in my previous list. In the most recent patch, Vindicta only received a couple changes, with the two most prominent being reversals on buffs she received previously, with both being aimed at her stake and her crow familiar abilities. That's because she was already strong enough without those two buffs and can easily still take over games when played effectively. Her ability to execute enemies and build a soul lead with her ultimate allows her to catch up quickly even if she's had a rough early game. In addition, she can help her team dramatically by just landing a stake on multiple enemies during team fights, allowing her team to capitalize really easily. For those reasons, I'm moving Vindicta out of the B tier and into the A tier of my list. While she may deserve an even higher spot, I'm waiting to see how she fares this patch before potentially moving her into the S tier. Now Viscus is a weird hero in Deadlock, because he keeps getting buffed, and then nerfed, and then buffed again, and then nerfed again. This patch, Viscus has received some drastic changes by receiving a new alternate fire and a ton of balance tweaks across his abilities. Then, as of the September 1st patch, many of those changes had been reverted or nerfed because of the strength of Viscus. Generally, I think Viscus is a fine hero, but he lacks the ability to really close out engagements by himself and instead needs to rely on allies to finish the job. Because of Viscus' strange playstyle and the lack of impact in the majority of games, I'm going to be lowering Viscus from the A tier to the C tier of my list as I really think there are some additional tweaks needed before he becomes super viable. Warden is another hero I relatively neglected in my previous list. In the August 29th patch, Warden received a movement speed and a fire rate nerf, but I don't think they really affect his bread and butter areas of the match. When a Warden shows up in a team fight, he'll lock enemies down, sap their health, and just absolutely ruin their day. And as long as you aren't caught out while winding up your ultimate, you have very few downsides in the late game. With all of that in mind, I'm moving Warden up a tier from A to S. Now Haze can easily stomp in lower MMR matches, but the more you play against her, the more you realize that she isn't as impactful as she once was. In the early game, all you need to do is focus on denying her souls and she won't be able to hurt you or your team for quite some time. Her biggest strength right now is being able to build Silencer on her ultimate and jump into the middle of an enemy team, but past that she doesn't bring a ton of value to fights. While Hayes is one of my personal favorite and most played heroes, her reliance on souls to be a part of the game makes her very weak in higher skill matchups. This relegates her to an urn runner or a split pusher to keep herself and her team in the lead. The recent patch did provide her with some buffs to help her consistency in a match, but all in all, I don't see it making a big difference. Last list, I had Hayes in the A tier, but for the August 29th patch, I'm dropping her down to the B tier. McGinnis is the last hero I'll cover in depth in this video but she fills a similar spot as Viscus and Haze when it comes to team comps and overall value. Generally, she's a great laner who can keep pressure on enemies without much difficulty, but when it comes to group up or late game fights, she can't keep up due to her reliance on turrets for damage output. Another point of frustration for McGinnis' team is her wall, which usually interrupts sightlines or even just keeps her team from progressing team fights in a more natural manner. With all of that in mind, I'm moving McGinnis from the A tier down to the B tier with the potential to drop even further if nothing changes. Now for the overall tier list. All of our previously mentioned heroes have found their new homes, but there are a couple more notable heroes in the mix too. Shiv is maintaining his position in the OP tier for now, primarily due to his rage mechanic. It gives him so much strength and power in fights that even with the nerfs he's received, he's still a valuable member of any team. 
Kelvin is another hero I have my eye on, and while he didn't move around this patch, his recent buffs are giving him some great momentum in games, and he's able to sustain his teammates much more effectively throughout a match. Lastly is Ivy, who after reaching new heights with her ultimate last patch, was hit with a ton of nerfs that make her useful, but not amazing like she was previously, dropping her a tier from the S to the A. And now, I turn it over to you. What do you think about this patch's tier list, and do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments, and I'd love to chat with you. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on more Deadlock content, and I appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next one.